right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Boop, boop, boop. Turn the camera on. Whoa. Okay, so what's up? This is Mimic Search. This is another scary game out of our random scary game list that I have downloaded into my game folder. So without further ado, let's get into it. No clue what this is. Mimic Search. Made by Game Isol. Wait, am I reading the chat log? I'm driving. I am driving. Whoa, I can steer. Hold up. Can I stop and look at the chat? Hello, a few hours ago we received an anonymous call from someone reporting an abandoned car with a lot of blood next to it. You know what that means? Investigate the crime scene. After that, drive around the area using your map. Talk to people and ask if they see anything weird. If you encounter a mimic, neutralize it with your firearm. Don't get cornered. Mimics are highly trained predators. Good luck. Kind of regards to Nathan. What? Where am I at? Okay. Huh. <laughs> it's like Slender Man with a car. I, I, I get the vibes. All my police officer or something? I am, oh, hence the radio right in front of me. <laughs> Should have known. All right, what do we got here? What do we got here, Lieutenant? <laughs> Looks like blood, lots of it too. Or it could be leaky lipstick. So what do we got here? <laughs> It's literally what I said. An abandoned car, a lake of blood, and no body. And no valuables are missing. So probably a mimic doing its work. Yes, I think that's obvious. The car was smoking when I arrived here. But I think the victim was driving up this road and had to stop because the engine had an issue. The victim called roadside assistance while a mimic was hiding behind a bush. That thing was probably one of the big ones. There's a huge footprint in, the car, in front of the car. She didn't have a chance. How old is the victim? 37 years old, according to her ID. Is this area known for mimic activity? No, not at all, but it seems like they're expanding their territory. I bet the fucker's still close. Probably somewhere in the woods digesting her. You sent to take care of it? Yes, that's why I'm here. I'm tasked with finding and neutralizing it. I'll drive around the area and ask if someone has seen something suspicious. Sounds like a plan. You have a map of the area on your laptop, right? Yes, I have a map! Sounds good. If you want, you can take a look at the crime scene yourself in case I missed anything. Will do! See you back at the station. Stay safe. Of course, Lieutenant. See, uh, Jablinski? The victim's car staying inside would have been safer. Is that a clue? It's a huge footprint. Ma'am, th uh, hey, this is a. Th a <coughs> hey, I was gonna say my car is parked there. This is a crime scene. 10 4, let's get back on the road. All right, making a pass. Stay sharp, Lieutenant Jablinski. Let's see where we go from here. Where were we, where were we even at? Let's just find a landmark. What is going on with this place? Oh, oh, landmark, landmark. Check where we're at, okay. We just hit the gas station that's on this corner. We pulled into it, so. Oh, we're at the beginning, all right. I say we make a sweep up. We go to the trailer park, go to the farm motel, then the cabin, or camping spot cabin, and then we're out of here, right? Right? Okay, check the surroundings. I think we're good. Is the Mimic lore, is that specifically like Mandela catalog type stuff? Is that what we're dealing with here? Yo. What can I do for you, sir? 
There was a mimic attack just down the road. Damn, that's bad for business. What? What? <laughs> Do you know anything that could help me with the search? I haven't noticed anything weird so far. Everything just as always. Really, nothing at all. Oh, only thing I know is you should be very careful nowadays. They're extremely good at pretending to be human, and they're more dangerous than ever. People say they're evolved and learned from humans. Thanks, but that information is already known to us. Anyways, thanks. Don't you want to buy something or fill up your car, sir? I'm good, thanks. Oh, good luck with the search officer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me confiscate one of these, because it's leaking. Let me just go ahead and throw that out for you. Wink, wink. Ooh. You got a van here, buddy. What's your van? A little grocery store van. That's, that's cute. Not many small grocery stores like that have their own little uh, utility van with a cute baggie on it. Okay. So let's do the plan. Let's sweep right, then go left, and then go right. Do the wide sweep. And we have the map pulled up here so we can see. I mean, really, it, it only sounds like we'll need to get out at the uh, destination, so it doesn't sound too bad, right? Like if I was walking this entire way. Yeah, that actually suck. But a drive? No. If I see a Mimic, I can hit it with my car, right? Right? Is that how it works? I don't know if they have superhuman strength or whatever rules this narrative plays by, but I know they won't kill me. There's two people out here. What are you doing? Sorry for blinding you, miss. Just had to pull in right where I needed to be, just for safety. Alright. What do we got going on here tonight? You know there was an incident right down the road and you two are looking awfully bougie. Let me ask you a question, ma'am. I'm not talking with cops. I just want to ask a few questions. I said I'm not talking with cops. Okay. The fuck do you want? Easy there, pal. I'm just here to ask a few questions. People don't like cops around here. Make it quick. I'm here for an investigation. A mimic was active in the uh, area around the nearby gas station. Shit. Sure. That's where I get my beer. Nah, fuck that place. Too expensive anyways. Do you know anything that would be useful to me? No. I'm drinking all day. Nothing else to do around here. People here don't believe the official narrative. They say the government uses them to keep population down. They don't like us common folk. They use them to get rid of us. This is not true, otherwise we wouldn't try to neutralize them. So, have you noticed anything odd in the last days? No. Not at all. Everything is as always? Try your luck somewhere else, cop. Good night, sir. Take a look around the property. I'm not going to go in anywhere. I just want to see what type of area we're dealing with here. Okay. Looks like I'm going to... Back out of here, fellas, and leave y'all alone. You enjoy your night. Take care. Take care. Don't let me hit your car, by the way. Okay, and now we're pulling out. Now we go right. And we take a left once we get to that main road. Look, we're doing this. This is not too difficult at all. I actually like driving a police car. Okay, a little left turn. That's not a big deal. Is that a car pulled off the side of the road? Sir? Sir? After everything the game has taught me, I'm going to talk to you. What's up, pal? Your car broke down? No, the engine's just got a bit too hot. I'm waiting for it to cool down before driving off. 
What do you need, officer? We have reports that there could be a mimic around this area. Do you know anything helpful? Yes. It's me. Very funny. You do no stupid jokes like that can land you in jail. Sorry, officer. It was a bad joke. I'll let you get away with it this time. I have to continue my search now. Stay safe, officer, and good luck with your search. I'm not turning my back on you, buddy. Oh, maybe I am. Okay, I did multiple times. Alright. Oh, I could cut the lights off. Why, why would I need to cut the lights off for my car? It's nighttime. Unless I just wanted to be stealthy and not blind somebody, I guess. Makes sense. Okay, let's cut left. There should be a house on the left here. Oh, let me get on my side of the road. Ah. Foolish me. Real quick before we go, what type of estate are we looking at? That's farmland. If there's a mimic, I don't know if it'd be out there. I mean, most farmers would have a shotgun or something, right? They'd have protection. It's off in the distance. Let's see, I can pull in here. Just looks like a small, small little road. Kind of peaceful though. I like your roundabout and everything here. All right, look. Uh, I'm gonna get out of the vehicle again. This, this freaking sucks, but I'm gonna have to do it. All right. Oh my God! What the, dude? May I help you, officer? Damn, you scared the crap out of me. Like, uh, for real. You the owner of this farm? Yeah, this is my property, sir. I told you you have a shotgun. I told you he would. I'm here because of the... Oh, sorry. My voice. I'm here because we have reports of a mimic. Or a mimic activity. Uh, activity. Activity in this area. Do you know anything that could help me out? Pardon the dyslexia. It kicks in every once in a while. For real, for real. Let me think for a second. Not really, I haven't noticed anything weird, but I also heard rumors about seeing Nor hearing them in the woods. Personally, I don't fear them. I make sure to lock all doors and I keep my rifle close to me. Thank you for your time. If you notice something weird, make sure to forward that information to the police. Have a good night. Have a good night and stay safe, officer. You don't mind if I check your barn? I don't think that's legal if I check your barn, but I'm just going to give it a little look-see. Dude, it looks like we could pull our car in here. That's pretty cool. Maybe we should have parked it there. Okay. Let's keep going. We got a town to save and some mimics to find. Our roundabout to take in a life that's mine. Let's get living. Let's get living. Tonight. <laughs> take a right. Awesome. Okay, so the things that I've learned so far. I'm not going to stop for a random person. I'm a police officer. I don't need to do that. I will go to the homes though. If I see another random guy on the side of the road, I'm not trusting that one, pal. Not one bit. Okay. So wait, I'm at the edge of this road right here. It says if I go left, there should be something, right? Where is this? The motel. What? No, I'm so lost. Hold up. If I was at the farmland... Oh no, I took the wrong direction. That's what really sucks. Pretty sure I did. 
I should have kept going left. Yeah, and I took a right at, through the, uh, the farm entrance. My bad. I mean, it was intentional. I had to sweep the area for a search. That was the car we ran up on before we made this turn. Okay, if we're going back the right direction, the farm should be right there. Okay. Yeah, we just need to pass that. Keep going straight, and then the motel should be right in front of us. We'll go check that. This is a. Uh, this is not. This is not ideal right now. I don't like having to get out of the car to investigate. I understand it's my job. But uh, I'm good. There's a mimic. I, I don't need to be doing this. But I guess it is my job. Okay, it's a motel. Let me, let me straighten up my park in here. That was a pretty bad job. Okay, bam, look at that. Is anybody in the office? Hey, dude. Well, I help you, sir. I'm here because a mimic was active down the road. Don't you have anything that could help me? A mimic, you say, damn. I just hope I never meet one of those things. I myself haven't noticed anything weird, but there's a farm east of here. Maybe they can help you more than I do. You can also follow the road up north. There's an area that's used for camping. All right, thank you for your time. You packing up to leave? What are you doing, buddy? Nobody in the doors? Can I check these? Are you okay if I do that? I probably don't want to be waking anybody up bothering them right now. Whoa. That was almost a pole bender. Jeez. Okay. So if we go down to the left, we're going to go back to that gas station. Um, if we go up north, we're going to hit the only two areas we haven't seen. So maybe we can find the Mimic then. How do we even neutralize the Mimic, though? Do we have a gun? I hope I have a gun or some type of weapon. I mean, you're tell Oh, sorry, I'm swerving. Who's cruising? You tell me I'm a police officer and I don't have a gun? Man, I don't get this. Okay, we're on that big round part. To the left, we should start seeing, I guess, the campground that they were talking about. If that's what it says in there, let me read it. Yeah, camping spot. What are those lights in front of me? There's nothing supposed to be there. Oh, it's a camping spot right here. Is it just talking about the dirt itself as a camping spot? I mean, I guess I get it, you know? It's land. Land is land. It just seems like You'd want to camp in the woods. Alright, should we ask this guy what's up? I don't want to get out, but... Okay. Oh. Sir. Hello? Is, that, is somebody in there? What do you want? I'm a police officer. I'm here to investigate the mimic-related incident. Can I talk to you for a second? We can talk, but I'll keep this door closed for my own safety. That's not an issue. So... 
You know anything that can help me out? No. Not me. But there's a homeless guy. Last night he came up to my tent and wanted some change. He said stuff about hearing screams coming from the woods. I thought he was bullshitting me or that he was onto something. Anyway, if you want to talk to him, just follow the road eastwards. Will do. Thank you for your time. Stay tuned, officer. I will. I gotta stop saying I will. I don't know if I'm gonna be safe. Okay. Keep swerving. Um. Cabin. I haven't checked the cabin. That's not where he's talking about going, though, because it's a homeless guy. So... Hey! Huh. Is that the homeless guy? Stay right there, buddy. Don't move. I will draw my weapon. Got any spare change, officer? Sure. Take this. Thank you so much. I'm here to investigate a mimic report. Do you have anything to help me out? A mimic? Oh, that's bad. That's really bad. I just scream sometimes at night. Do you see this road going up there? I think there's a house and... And screams are coming from there. I think. You should take a look. I, I guess I'll have to go. Thanks, and make sure to stay out of trouble. I will, officer. How much do you want to bet one of the people I, I talked to was the mimic? That pissed me off. I'm just up here to do my duty, brother. Oh, no. Oh, I don't like this road. I don't like this vibe. I don't like this plan. I don't like the attitude. I don't... My car could get stuck in the mud, for all I know. It could be stuck in the mud. And then I have no way to go home. Whoa, the door's open. The door's open. Door's open. Uh, where's our weapon? I don't want to get out. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Okay. You have no weapons? Okay, sure, whatever. I have no weapon. Hello? Dude, officer, shut the door behind you, please. I have a gun now. What if I drive the car in there? can't drive a car through the woods. Fuck off, game. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. I don't like this anymore. Hello? But it's safe. It's clear over there. Ah. Oh, stop pushing me closer. What's in here? Please stop. What's on the top of a hill?
Oh, it chose a vantage point. Oh my god. Oh, I have chills. I hate that. Stop. Where are you? Oh, no. No. No, stop. Stop screaming. Oh my god. Oh, you did. No. No. What? At least you're not pretending to be a little bitch anymore. I am the real bitch here. Face me, Mimic. Face. Face me, Mimic. Oh, you were easy. Oh. Neutralize the Mimic. Oh my god, what an amazing... What an amazing, uh... <laughs> just cinematic build. Holy crap. That was awesome. That was really cool. So, that was Mimic Search. For anybody who doesn't know, you can get it free on Itch.io. You can go check it out. Um, wow. Freaking awesome. Okay. Uh, I don't know how to say your name. Gimizzle at the end. Gimizzle or Gimzel. However you want to call it. I don't know. I, let me know in the comments. Wow. You're good at making games. The tension that I was feeling throughout the entire piece was there. Because it was alluding to things that were larger. Um, and then eventually I got to experience the larger threat. And I think that was the payoff that most of these indie horror games don't really get right. Uh, really appreciate this. And the mimic, I could say it could use like two or three more bullets to drop. You know, it could, it could use a little bit more, but maybe it was the distance. Maybe I got lucky because I was super cautious and I didn't run straight into it. Uh, but other than that, I mean, wow, the presentation, the atmosphere, the design is awesome. I love the idea of traveling in a car to these different locations to get information. And, it, you know, it'd be cool if, to see a part two. And maybe you have like the the town as you drive back around through it, you see them slowly dying or you like have to talk to somebody again and, you know, figure out if they're a mimic or not. This is a really cool game. Definitely recommend it. Go give it a check. And if you like watching stuff like this and you like random horror games, you like scary games, you like scary whatever, and you like talking, and you like watching video games, stick around. We do more scary games all the time. And if you're seeing this on YouTube, give it a like, give it a comment. I love the support that we're getting on there, okay? Much love. I appreciate it. Let's get back into some more scary games, and then later, uh, let's get into Fallout. So if you haven't checked those out, go watch them, and then uh, hopefully stay tuned for Fallout.